Hello everyone. Have you been experiencing the heat recently in Nigeria? It's unbelievable. Abuja is something else. Maybe like, okay, let me not say Nigeria since I'm not all over Nigeria. But I can tell you Abuja has been crazy. You wake up in the morning, 4 a.m. and there's so much heat. Like sweat is dripping down your body. Fan is not even doing the work. AC is literally aren't even working. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I've been using this to just clean up my face. The AC is on. I'm in the study, the AC is on, it's almost as if there's nothing, there's nothing on. Sometimes you will be thinking, is the AC spot? And then they come and say, there's nothing uh, wrong with it, it's not spot, it's just the weather, it's just so hot. I am one person, I'm the, I'm the hot water gang when it comes to taking my bath, no matter how hot it is, I will use hot water. But right now, even the water that are coming from the pipe, they're already hot. For it to, it's one when you've now fetch it or something and leave it to cool a little bit be, before it becomes that. And in the midst of this all, guess what? The national grid is falling like, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you're looking at me. I don't know. Every uh, care market day, national grid, you see it has collapsed. It has collapsed. It has collapsed. It has collapsed. The people that told us that uh, if they get into office, uh, if they, they will fix electricity within two years. We are seeing here APC hasn't done it. Both the legitimate APC government and the illegitimate APC government, they haven't done anything. Other than stories, 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 that's what we keep hearing. Let me read the latest story that they have brought out. It says... Uh, Nigeria's national grid collapses again as AEDC appeals for understanding in Abuja. So me, that's why I said I'm speaking for Abuja. Maybe it's different in the other places. So. The AEDC, while confirming the development to its customers through its social media handle, said the national grid collapsed at about 4.28 p.m. on March 29, 2024. Nigerians have again been thrown into darkness as the Abuja Electricity Distribution company AEDC on Thursday announced another national grid collapse. The AEDC, while confirming the development to its customers through its social media handle, said the national grid collapsed at about 4.28 p.m. Didn't they just... The Sahara reporters, I don't know why they always keep... Rep Is it that they want the world, world to be... Ugh. Let me just continue with this thing. The AC has picked up a little bit. I hope there's not it. It's really hot here. It's unbelievable. In the notice, the power distribution company said, Dear valued customers, please be informed that the current power outage is due to system failure from the national grid. The system collapsed at about 16.28 hours today, 28 March 2028, 2024. God forbid, 2028, you are still dealing with electricity program causing the outage currently being experienced across our franchise area. We appeal for your understanding as all stakeholders are working hard to restore normal supply. Similarly, the Eco Electricity Distribution Company in a public notice said, their valued customer kindly be informed there was a system collapse at, okay, repeating the same thing. I mean, but the, so the thing that comes to mind now is, why do we have this constant uh, national grid collapse? Why has nothing been done about it? Not some, nothing tangible be done about it to stop it. What is being done to mitigate against it? What is the effect of this on our manufacturing industry, uh, on on, our, on the economy, uh, on health, on everything? The effect of this constant uh, collapse that, that there is. How is there any? anything being put in place with this heat now, lack of electricity, to ensure that people don't get in, uh, we don't have outbreak of certain diseases that are associated with heat. Like I know meningitis, I grew up in the north, uh, in Kano State. It's one of the things when there's very strong heat like this, usually you find that there are some diseases which will be outbreak of certain diseases. Are there things that are being put in place to ensure that people don't suffer. The essence of gov gov government and governance is to make the lives of people better, is to ensure that people uh, have, uh, how do I put it now, uh, 
people's problems are solved find out what people's problems are and solve those problems so what are, what is it that is being done beyond thinking that a lot of these people who are in a position of power they of course they have their 24 7 electricity they have their high powered acs that will work they have a lot of things but are they thinking about people who don't even have electricity at all or people who don't have access to generator uh to uh, inverters and all of that solar panels and and, and all of that what is being done for them for how long are we going to keep experiencing this so they are saying that even when they are yabbing nigeria electricity electricity is one of the things that they always used to yab nigeria oh you know that nation where they don't have like so anywhere they go to they will stay there it's just that trust nigerians when it comes to yabbing nigerians are top on the game they, they will even yab themselves so any insult you want they are shameless anyway we are shameless any insult you want to insult us with, we have already insulted ourselves ourselves with it before you actually uh, insult us so but on a more serious note is to say what are the things that are being done to mitigate all of these problems we have a lot of issues uh, here in, in in this country imagine we are talking about growing our economy we are talking about the manufacturing uh, industry how are they going to work without electricity how are people going to compete where you have places where they have 24-7 electricity and people are not having to buy uh, diesels, having to buy generators, set up power plants and all of that. They produce things and then you bring them here. How do you think you're going to compete with them uh, in a way that is competitive? How is that even uh, going to be possible? So these are some of the problems uh, that, that we have. And it's really so... You know, so 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 funny and so pathetic that uh, uh, Tinibu, uh, I mean, you will think that you you he, he, he will rig his way into office for him to fix some of this some of these basic things so that people will be able to say, ah, at least he's doing something, or ah, at least this, or ah, at least that. But of course, there hasn't been anything other than just you know the sort of like nothing being done that it's going on, and it's really crazy, you know, the way these things sort of like go on. Why? You're, you're interrupting my thoughts now. It's my husband that just entered. He just carried his name. I just got name. You'll not be staring. And then when I'm talking, I can't talk again because I'm looking at him that is looking at me. He's there smiling. If you don't see me, you can't stay in one place. I'll soon come out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And he opened the door, he saw me, and I'm thinking, okay, he wasn't just close the door, he wasn't just, he didn't close the door. Anyway, you guys are going to see this as the way it is. But on, on, a, on a very serious note, you would, you would expect that he would really come out and, you know, but hey, grab it, run with it, that's all, and come and give bad governance or try to govern with propaganda. <laughs>